one of Indonesia's largest parties, the Great Indonesia Movement Party Jirindra, has confirmed that it will nominate new candidates instead of any Sweden for the upcoming Jakarta gubernatorial election. The decision marks a departure from Jirindra's previous position in backing Mr. Enis for the 2017 Jakarta poll. Mr. Enis ran for president in the February general election but ended as runner-up. With former General Prabowo Sabianto emerging victorious in the three-horse race. Jirindra Secretary General Ahmad Muzani said they prefer to support young and fresh candidates to contest in the Jakarta election which will seek a new governor for the city that will soon lose its status as the country's capital city. The new capital Nusantara in eastern Kalimantan will take over the status on Indonesia's 79th Independence Day on August 17. Mr. Amat said that Jirindra seeks to champion a new figure for the Jakarta gubernatorial seat, with discussions already underway among coalition partners to finalize the nomination. We have young and fresh candidates for the Jakarta election, said Mr. Ahmad as quoted by Jakarta Globe on Thursday, April 18. When asked about the possibility of supporting Mr. Ennis, he quipped, Ennis who? Mr. Ennis clinched the Jakarta governorship in 2017 with the backing of President-elect Prabowo Sabianto's Jirindra and the Prosperous Justice Party PKS. After completing his tenure, Mr. Ennis ran for the presidential election with National Awakening Party PKB Chairman Muhammad Iskandar as his running mate and with the support of two parties, PKS and the National Democratic Nostam Party. Jirindra and other parties parted ways with Mr. Ennis, with Jirindra's chairman Prabhu and his running mate Gibran Rekabaming Roka also participating in the presidential race held on February 14. The General Election Commission KPU has declared Mr. Prabhu and his running mate Gibran Rekabaming Roka as the winners of the election, securing 58.59% of the total votes cast. Enis Muhaimin Iskanda trailed with 24.95% of the votes. Mr. Enis, alongside another unsuccessful presidential candidate Gonjar Pranowo, is contesting the results, alleging electoral fraud and irregularities. The matter now rests with the Indonesian Constitutional Court, which is expected to issue its ruling by April 22. If the court rejects the complaints, Mr. Prabowo and Mr. Gibran, who is also the outgoing President Joko Widodo's eldest son, will take their oath of office in October. Amid the election dispute, speculation has grown regarding Mr. Eni's potential candidacy in the November Jakarta gubernatorial election with Nosdem and PKS expressing their readiness to support Mr. Eni's. However, both parties stopped short of naming Mr. Eni's as their candidate as the dispute on the presidential election has yet to reach any conclusion. According to observers, Jirindra is confident in naming its own candidate for the Jakarta governor election. Given Mr. Prabowo's victory in securing 58% of votes in the February presidential poll, on who will be the perfect candidate that Jirindra will support for the Jakarta election? Mr. Amat said his party is considering a fresh figure although he was reluctant to name the person, as the matter is still being considered internally. Last week, Mr. Alanga Hatato, leader of another major party Golka, said the party and Jirindra were prepared to back former West Java Governor Ridwan Kamil for Jakarta Governor. News outlet Compass reported that both Golka and Jirindra are in the process of lining up candidates for the country's local elections in November. Mr. Ridwan, popularly known as Kong Emil, is seen as a rising star in Indonesian politics thanks to previous stints as West Java governor and Bandung mayor. Indonesia held its presidential and legislative elections on February 14 and will hold local elections on November 27 to elect 38 governors for 160 regions and 98 mayors across the country.